The view through the courthouse security camera seems pretty typical. The judge, lawyers, defendants, everyone conducting standard court business. Until a deputy approaches a man slumped over at the end of the second row. He's unresponsive and can't be revived. Apparently, he's overdosed right there in the gallery. As court proceedings continue, unaware of the situation, a nurse seen here in blue is called in to check on the man. She acts fast and administers a dose of Narcan. And seconds later, the man is revived. Officers help him to his feet, and he's escorted out of the courtroom, where he refuses further medical treatment and leaves. In courtroom, please. The near-fatal overdose was shocking enough, but not nearly as bizarre as what happened that very same day, just a few hours earlier. This is the arraignment of 20-year-old Spencer Allen Boston. At a traffic stop two months earlier, Boston received citations for speeding and simple possession of marijuana. As he walks up to the podium, Judge Haywood Barry's informed that Boston has a special request. I spoke to Mr. Boston. He said he wants to represent himself in this case. I told him today, Mr. Chief of Raymond, it's either guilty, not guilty that day, uh, to which he responded, I just want to plead my case to the court. So he didn't want to talk to me after that. So that's why he is. You know, Start talking, son. Yes, sir. I think it's very unfair, the marijuana law here. Um, I think we the people deserve better because marijuana is a very harmless drug and it's been around for ages since the 80s and 90s. Uh, I've heard that for lonely all my life, so don't go any further on that. Yes, sir. I and don't know whether it's good or bad. All I know yes, is sir. Tennessee still has it against the law. I swore to uphold the laws and I have to uphold the laws as a judge. It probably is unfair, but I can't change it. You've got to go see the legislature. To get that change. Yes, sir. And if you get a change, Judge Barry quickly returns to the matter at hand. Now, if you want to plead guilty, you can today. But if you want a trial, we can give you a trial on the officer state, which uh, it's Officer Vincent. Officer Vincent? If you want to face trial today? Uh, yeah, we can do that. I'd be fine. Then you, then you make another speech. As the judge works with court employees to schedule a trial date, Boston decides to take action as he pulls out what appears to be a joint. No one seems to notice until, shockingly, he lights up. And this time it's noticed immediately. Hey, hey, hey! We the people deserve better! Boston may have finally pleaded his case. Hey, hey, hey! We the people deserve better! But he's immediately taken away by the court officer. And Judge Barry gets the final word. Slapping Boston with a disorderly conduct charge, as well as another charge of possession. The judge also holds him in contempt of court, and Boston is forced to spend 10 days in jail. The joint was collected as evidence. Joining us now is Spencer Allen Boston. So clearly you wanted to make a statement about the law, but looking back on it, was this the right way to do it? Yes, sir. In my eyes, that was the right way to do it. People say, oh, you could protest and, you know, talk to the House of Reps or, you know, talk to the legislative and, you know, whatever else. But in a way, they're not listening to us. So the only way to really grab attention is by doing something stupid. I mean, not necessarily stupid, but kind of, you know, like a peaceful protest is how I looked at it. It was civil disobedience, kind of like Rosa Parks, how, you know, they said, go to the back of the bus. And she said, not nah, happening. You know, nobody got hurt, no, no harm, no foul. And it gained attention. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.